Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. If you're new or you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your notifications so that you know when I upload a new video. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy and that all of your loved ones are safe and healthy. It's been a crazy last couple months as we are all aware of. So I thought it would be kind of nice if I shared with you guys some of the things that have really helped me get through these last few months. Some of these things have been my favorites for a few months now while others are newer, but I'm really excited to share them all with you guys. Of course, of course, everything will be linked in the description box below. So if you're interested in getting anything, make sure to check it out. Nothing that I'm showing you here today is sponsored. This is all my genuine, honest opinion. Without further ado, let's get into my June favorites. Okay, so I've kind of put everything into different categories and we're gonna start off with beauty, makeup, skincare favorites. First up is this kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser from Youth to the People. So I discovered this product because I've been obsessed with watching Hiram's videos on YouTube. If you guys don't know him, he teaches you about skincare and kind of goes over people's skincare routines and kind of critiques them and gives them advice. And I have seriously learned so much about skincare from watching his videos. He is so eloquent. He knows so much about all of the ingredients that are in skincare. He can read a full ingredient list and tell you what each ingredient does and if it's good or bad. Anyway, I am obsessed with him at this point. He is my guru. I would do anything that he told me to do to my skin at this point. So this is his favorite cleanser right now. And so it's my favorite cleanser right now. It's honestly as great as he said it would be. I really like that there's not much fragrance to it because if you watch his videos, you know that having fragrance in your skincare can be really irritating. I love this stuff. It's in a glass bottle. I really like that this brand Youth to the People is really sustainable and you can actually reuse their bottles and the ink is made with vegetable ink or something like that so that you can wipe it off and reuse these glass bottles. Overall, I just really like the brand and what they kind of stand for and I love the product. So it's just a win-win in my book. And I like them so much that I also got their Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. And this is what it looks like. I love this stuff. I put it on in the morning and at night after I use the cleanser. And again, it really doesn't have any fragrance, so it's not irritating. And I love the texture of it. It really feels moisturizing, but it also doesn't feel heavy. So it just really feels nice on the skin. It's light, but moisturizing. Maybe if you have really dry skin, I probably wouldn't recommend this. They have another moisturizer that's for dry skin specifically. I think this one's for combination oily skin. I really think my skin is pretty just normal. So this is really nice. I don't feel like it's too heavy on my skin. I've been really liking using this combo of their cleanser and their moisturizer. I'll be using them until Hiram actually creates his own skincare line and then I will be exclusively purchasing that. So. Hi, Rim. Let's go. Okay, the other thing that I switched over to because you guessed it, Hiram said to, is a double cleanse system. So I didn't know what this was. I really didn't know much about skincare at all. I've only recently become super interested in it. Kind of just found some products that worked okay and I just use them all the time. I never tried anything new because I was scared that it was gonna irritate my skin, but. One of the things that I've been seeing a lot is a double cleanse system, and I was not doing that. I was using this makeup pad. I think you have probably seen it in one of the times that I've washed my face on this channel. It's a little makeup remover reusable pad, and you basically, it doesn't, you don't need to put anything on it. You just rub off your makeup with it with warm water, and then you just kind of clean it by using soap, or you can throw it into the laundry to clean it. And I've been doing that and then a cleanser and a moisturizer. 
but I've been hearing that a double cleanse system is the way to go if you wear makeup. So I picked up this Claudelie. It's definitely a French pronunciation that I'm totally gonna butcher, but this is the brand and this is their makeup removing cleansing oil, moisturizing grape and sweet almond. So this is what it looks like. I got all of this skincare stuff at Sephora, but this is basically a makeup removing cleansing oil. So what I do is I put about three pumps of this onto my fingers, warm it up, and then I just go right onto my face with all of my makeup, all my mascara, and just gently kind of massage it off of my face. And I really think this works incredibly well. It feels very gentle, but it does a great job of removing the makeup. Any of it that doesn't come off immediately comes off when I then go in with my cleanser afterwards. If my mascara or eyeliner is really tough to get off that day, I'll just put a little bit of the cleansing oil onto a little cotton pad and then I'll hold it on my eyes for about 10 seconds just to let everything kind of sit and then the mascara slides off easier or the eyeliner, whatever it is. I basically have a new skincare routine and it consists of these three products. I go in with the cleansing oil, then I do my cleanser and then I do my moisture cream. Another skincare fave this month has been my Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I've heard a lot about this product and I wanted to try it out. It's really a hydrating mask and I have been having some dry spots on my skin recently because I've been using a pimple cream on a few intense pimples that I think were caused by wearing a face mask. Drying them out, then dried my skin out. And so I've been enjoying using this. It feels super light, but it really feels moisturizing and it does give me that nice glow. This is definitely one of my favorites this month. I'm kind of on the search for the perfect face mask. <laughs> I want to find just like my holy grail face mask, but right now I think this is up there in my faves. Moving into the makeup realm, I have been obsessed with this little sugar petal fresh lip treatment, tinted lip treatment. It has SPF 15 in it, which I love, and this color is so nice. It's a really perfect just lip tint. And it's not too bright and it's not too, I'm wearing lipstick, you know what I mean? I'll show you guys. It's so moisturizing. It's so soft and just, it's like a cashmere sweater on your lips, you know what I mean? And I just think it has a really nice subtle tint, looks really natural. This is just the perfect thing if you want to carry around a lip balm that can kind of double as a lipstick. Love her. Next beauty fave. I think you guys have seen this in my videos a few times at this point. This is the Frankie's Bikinis Glow Tint. And I've been loving this. As you can see, it is very close to being gone. That would be my only complaint is I just feel like there's not a lot in here. Wish there was a little more, <laughs> but yeah, I love it. If that's my only complaint, then that's a pretty good complaint to have. I use it on my cheeks, on a little bit on the bridge of my nose, my eyes, my lips. I just love something that can do it all, and I love something that you use with your fingers exclusively. I just think that's super easy. I really put on almost all of my makeup, pretty much all my makeup except my translucent powder with my fingers. And I love finger painting on my face. I just really think that's the way to go. I've been loving this. It gives a really subtle but glowy finish on the skin and it's super just soft and creamy and I really like the color. I literally don't even own one of their swimsuits but I own their makeup, so. Okay, this is a kind of random favorite but I basically want <laughs> really wanted a blue eyeshadow. I saw my friend Taylor, shout out Taylor, wearing a blue eyeshadow and I was like, I wanna do that. It just looks so kind of 2000s to me, super cute. I wanted a very specific blue eyeshadow color though. I wanted like kind of a pastel-y, but vibrant, but not too vibrant. I found this at Sephora. I really couldn't find like an individual eyeshadow thing of this perfect blue color that I wanted. So there was this little mini palette. It's ABH Norvina collection. I've never heard of that, but they have some crazy shades in here, as you can see. My perfect blue shade. I don't really have anywhere to wear this, but when, 
when I do feel like kind of dressing up a little bit, doing something fun and crazy, I will put on that eyeshadow color and it's so fun to wear blue eyeshadow. Next up is something else blue that I've been loving. It is G Polish in Playa. I'm actually wearing it on my nails right now. It is just the best blue, you guys. Oh, I know I was talking about finding the perfect blue for my eyeshadow, but I found the perfect blue for your nails. It's just the best. Like, look how it pops on camera. It's so fun for summer. Really reminds me of Blue Raspberry Jolly Rancher, Blue Skittle. It has that, like, blue candy look to it to me. I just love it. It's so freaking fun. I've been wearing this a lot this summer. Just a good poolside color. It's from our new Summer Brights collection. And if you get the collection, then you get all three of the Summer Brights colors. And if you do the bundle, it also comes with our make it pop base coat which is awesome you just put it on underneath any neon shade or really any shade and it makes the color even more vibrant so playa love you moving into kind of fashion slash accessories i've been loving my glasses from warby parker i got these i guess kind of closer to the beginning of quarantine i love these guys they're so cute look Aren't they just so nerdy but cute and just fun? If any of you know, which you should, the feminist icon Gloria Steinem, she used to wear glasses like this and I was watching this show, Mrs. America, and uh, Rose Byrne was playing Gloria Steinem and she was wearing these kinds of glasses and I was like, I really want those. So that's what this is inspired from. They have a blue light in them, which is great for if you're on your computer a lot, it will make sure that you don't get headaches from the blue light so i really like that and honestly going forward i would never get another pair of eyeglasses that don't have blue light protection because it seriously makes a difference i'll be on my computer all day especially now in quarantine with my contacts in and i will get a serious headache and my eyes will just kind of feel weak so blue light glasses are a great way to help with that if that's an issue for you okay so another favorite from this month is colorful bracelets look at them don't they look like candy ah don't these just make you happy it's like happy so these two i got on etsy this rainbow one is super cute i just love all the colors and then this black and white one is awesome and they just go really cute together i think i just think that's such a nice combo and they're really stretchy and then these other ones that i got these kind of beaded ones i saw these on instagram and i ordered them from like the netherlands or something highly just don't recommend doing that not because i don't love them but because as soon as i ordered them and then received them i was like i could have made these like why why did i spend money on these but they're still super cute however i just i really could have made these i could have just ordered some you know stretchy elastic on amazon and then ordered some beads and made them and just you tie a knot but i do love them and you know it's really nice that they're just already made for you if you're really not a crafty person but i am a crafty person this would have been a good quarantine activity no regrets i do love them stars hearts everything pink a rainbow multi one those have been really bringing a smile to my day i do have to say that someone pointed out to me that they are or look like rave bracelets which i guess is when people go to a rave i've never really been to like a real rave i mean i've been to coachella but i don't really think that's a rave but i guess you know what ed edc electric daisy carnival mm -hmm. they wear these like all up their arms or something so yeah i don't plan to wear these all at once i don't want anyone to get the wrong impression that i am a crazy raver and then they come up to me and they're like have you been to the, that latest rave and then i you know look like a loser because i'm not the cool raver that they thought i was so now i'm thinking that i just kind of wear one at a time subtle summer vibe see the way i pictured them i never pictured rave i pictured oh tie-dye t-shirt and cute little beaded bracelet summer fun like they remind me of summer camp you know what i mean we're gonna kind of go into the fashion realm now starting off with everyone's 
Favorite fashion accessory, face masks. Okay, but this one though, I love. How cute is this? It's like this floral print, kind of yellow, blue, adorable. Like, come on, wear a mask. I love this one. It's from this brand, Merit Charles. It has all of my favorite face mask kind of features. First of all, it has a bendy nose part, so you can tighten it to your nose. And then I also love that behind the ears, it has an adjuster and you can take out this little inside part and then you can just hand wash the face mask. It's super breathable. I really like the nose pinch and it really just covers this whole area. And I like that it goes under the chin. I really encourage you to try to find a face mask that you actually love and that you actually grab and put on because it's so cute and comfortable and well-fitting because it'll just make you wear your mask way more. Next up is one of my favorite things at the moment. It is these little watercolor shorts. Can you even? How cute are these? Oh, isn't this just the most perfect tie-dye watercolor short you've ever seen? The colors are just so pretty. It's like a little pastel sunset. And they're so soft, you guys. They're just the softest things I've ever felt. Okay, so they're from this brand called Selkie. And if you don't know this brand, it's awesome. It's woman-owned, which I love supporting female entrepreneurs. It's a small business and all of her stuff is gorgeous and whimsical. I love following her on Instagram. These are just really the perfect summer shorts to just lounge around the house in during quarantine. I've been living in these. They're also great sleeping shorts, but you can also wear them to the beach. They're just perfect. Now, this brand actually gifted me these pieces, which was so nice, but I'm sharing them because I love them. I seriously, seriously love them. I didn't have to post about them or talk about them, but I'm obsessed, so I definitely wanted to share with you guys. So this brand called Solid and Striped, and they mainly make bathing suits, but they also have clothes on their site. This is this little bikini set that they sent me. First of all, I just love this print. A cool thing about this bathing suit that I think is so awesome is that it's totally adjustable. It has the normal adjustable straps on the back, but it also has adjustable straps on the part that goes around your torso, completely adjustable. This has these really cool little adjusters on the side so you can make it as tight or as loose as you want, which I just think is so cool and innovative. Moving into my favorite category, snacks. Love snacks, who doesn't? First up, my snack favorites for the month of June is these Hue grain-free crackers in everything flavor. Okay, I'm obsessed with anything everything bagel flavored. I mean, I think everyone knows at this point about the everything but the bagel seasoning. It's just the greatest invention. Everything bagels are delicious themselves. I really wanna make everything bagel dip. There's so many ways to everything bagel everything. These crackers, I guess, are really healthy. I don't know, they don't have gluten, which I'm not gluten free, but if you're sensitive to gluten, that's cool. It doesn't have sunflower oil, which is awesome because seed and vegetable oils, which it also says it doesn't have, are not great for you. So I do try to avoid those. I eat these with hummus or cheese. They're just off the charts. Next up is, seriously, one of my latest just holy grail items, seaweed. Oh, I've been on a seaweed kick, let me tell you. Extra virgin olive oil, premium roasted seaweed. Maybe I'll just have a little taste. Makes me think of when you're watching a food show or somebody cooking and then they don't taste it. You can't watch them taste it. Do you know what I'm talking about? If you're watching a food show and they're like talking about it and how good it is and then they don't taste it, it's just, that really annoys me. So if you're gonna talk about food, you need to taste it on camera. I don't know why you just, just is the right thing to do. Last but not least for snacks has been these plantain chips by Banana. These ones are Himalayan pink sea salt, although they have an incredible salt and vinegar flavor. And literally their ingredients are just plantains, coconut oil, and pink salt. I don't know how they make them so good, but they're delicious. Again, really salty, crunchy. I think that's a trend here. Last but not least, I wanted to do my favorite books of this month and my favorite TV shows slash movies. So I just finished a really good book called Writers and Lovers, which was amazing. If you want just a really interesting novel that's 
kind of about loss and love, that's definitely a book that I recommend. I'm currently reading How to Be an Anti-Racist by Ibram X. Kendi, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about. It's a New York Times bestseller. It's a really popular book right now for people that are wanting to learn more about racism and how to be a really good ally. So I wanted to read this book to educate myself further and I just started it, but so far I am absolutely loving it. It's really interesting. So highly recommend this already, even though I haven't finished it yet. Definitely check it out. I'll also leave some more resources in the description box for what you can do to support the Black Lives Matter movement, as well as other books on racism that are on my list to read next that I've heard are really amazing. For TV shows, I have been obsessed with Breaking Bad. I have been told by all of my friends, by everyone I know basically, that I need to watch Breaking Bad. And I knew that I had to do it, I just never started it. And what better time than quarantine to start literally anything. I'm currently on season two and I am loving it. If you haven't seen Breaking Bad, great show to binge watch because there's a ton of seasons. It's thrilling. You're just on the edge of your seat the whole time. I also watched Normal People on Hulu and that just really pulled at my heartstrings. So you have to be ready to cry. If you're ready to cry, which I all know we're doing a lot of right now, you can just let it out when you're watching normal people. It's really good love story. Each episode's only like 30 minutes, so it's pretty quick to get through. Me and Barrett watched this show called The Defiant Ones together, which was basically a mini series about Jimmy Iovine and Dr. Dre and how they created Beats headphones and it was an incredibly interesting docu-series. In terms of movies, I recently watched 13th which is a documentary by Ava DuVernay and it basically focuses on racial injustice in America and gives a brief history of the racial injustice in America as well as focusing on how black people are disproportionately incarcerated in the US. It's very moving, it's really educational, and I highly recommend it. It's a great place to start if you're really looking for a film to educate yourself further on racial inequality in the US. That's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my June favorites and seeing some of my favorite things from this month. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and leave me a comment down below. Stay healthy, stay safe, wear a mask, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.